Hello, my name is Jake from Firestorm Games, and I'm here today with another Tabletop Spotlight. Today we're looking at Misty. It's a 2-4 to four player game, takes about 20 minutes. It's card drafting and programming. For anyone who's afraid of that as a mechanic, don't worry, this is not hardcore robo-rally programming. So let's start with the theme. I absolutely fell in love with this game. The theme is, when there's a thunderstorm outside and you get the condensation on your window when you're a kid, you doodle in the window in the condensation. Well, imagine that your monsters and planes and flowers that you've drawn come alive and start playing out a little uh, story in front of you. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to build a window full of exciting characters. So mechanically, this is a draft game. You take six cards on the top of the deck, pick one, pop it down in front of you, pass the pile on, everybody reveals what they chose, you pick up the newly passed pile to you, pick one, pop it down, reveal it, pass it on until the pile's done. You then do it again, another six cards, but you pass to the right this time, so you, you've always got some different choices there. The cards you take, you're building a 4x3 grid, and it can be 4 tall, 3 across, or 3 across, 4 tall, whatever you want. You can switch it as you go, so you don't have to make a decision until you actually put down the card to make it, this is the 4. So you're taking cards, but why? Well, they're going to score you points. There's, broadly speaking, three main types of cards. There's monsters, there's cards with arrows, which means they're going to move, and there's cards without arrows. So, once you've created your window, it's then time to deal with the programming aspect. So, the first thing that happens is every monster on your board will jump and eat one of the flowers. So if you've managed to get monsters and flowers, bad luck, not so good. But if you've only got monsters, they'll sit around and score your points later. Or if you've managed to get an entire window, only flowers, no monsters, they're all safe. After that, everything with an arrow moves, but you choose which order. So if you move right, this goes off the board, this goes up, this fills the gap. Great, you've only lost one card. If you go and program maybe not so brilliantly, this eats this card, then someone else eats this card. Anything that's in a pile gets discarded before you score points. So you are trying to work out where everything's going to go, and as you're drafting, oh, I need something that'll go left or something that'll go right, just to fill in a gap. After you've all handled your windows, you top points up. Anything that's left face up is worth a point. Faces, if they're a pair next to each other, are worth three points for the pair. Flowers are worth two, but it says on the card, so it's really easy. It's very quick. I love this game. The art style absolutely hooked me, the theme of it. And there's loads of different choices, as you get quite often with the draft game, but because you build the grid as well, you never feel quite locked in. If you haven't managed to get enough of something, switch tactics, see what you're being handed. It's in stock now at firestormgames.co.uk. Links are in the description below. 